those things. So I'm excited today to bring you five brand new, say brand new, but five deals I've yet to talk about in this Black Friday season. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. All right, y'all, what's up, automators? It's Justin, founder of AutomationMatch.net, here to help you, the coach, the speaker, and the trainer, create automated systems that save you time and generate you more revenue. Good evening, everyone. And part of automating your business is having the right tools, is having the right things in your belt that you can use. And like anyone, any tradesperson, any person that's going out there to do work, get out there to serve people, you need to be aware of what your tool belt costs, how much it costs to put those tools in there and keep them with you on a day-to-day -day basis. And so this time right here, this time right now, this week and next week, going up into really up into Cyber Monday through the rest of this month is a great time for you, the coach, the speaker, the trainer, the online entrepreneur to invest in your business. Like there is no better time outside of when you got taxes back and you got money to spend, right? Like this time is the time to be stocking up on the tools that you didn't before. So again, if you were worried about paying a thousand dollars for all these different pieces of software, right now is the time. Like if I were to give you any time for you to start opening up your checkbook and go in there and make some decisions. So today I'm gonna give you five tools. Yesterday I went over two tools. If you're in my inbox, right, in my email list, you're gonna get some other stuff as well. If you follow me on social, I did one this morning, right? So this week I am getting all those deals out there to you as I find them. And so today I wanna go over the five right now that I like, um, that I think that you should consider and some of them do some similar things, but I think you all should keep these things in mind and make them options for you and your business. So before I get in today's episode, make sure you tell us who you are, tell us where you're from, and more importantly, tell us what you do. Like, how do you serve people? I want to know in the comments. Um, I shout out everybody, right? Uh, this week, I'm shouting out a couple of fellas I've known for some quite some time. Amazing guys. Um, check out Jerry Poe and Greg Russell over on the Technology Tuesday show. They go during the day. I don't remember what exact time, guys. I apologize. Actually, let me go ahead and check. Uh, but I apologize. They, they went about eight hours ago, right? So about 2 o'clock, uh, they go live on Technology Tuesday. So go ahead and check them out over at technologytuesday.com. Let me go ahead and pull up the page real quick. And that's at Technology Tuesday. Dot com. Um, this is Greg. Again, the other host is J uh, is uh, Jerry. Um, as y'all can see here, there's there's their page. But yeah, great guys. Uh, I've had a chance to have I, like I have I, I can get in touch with them by phone, right? So I've had the opportunity to really um and, and get to enjoy who they are and the people they are and, and the men they are, um, and the great content always 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 around technology so i'm not the only tech guy out there um they have good stuff too and i'm not afraid to shout their stuff out so uh good work fellas keep up the great work and keep those episodes cranking out okay keep those episodes cranking out so today i'm gonna be talking about five 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 deals that you should definitely give a shot Right. So things that again, you may not need all five and some of them you don't need. It's kind of like one or the other. But I felt like I needed to put all five of these things in front of you. And really one of the five is like many. So you're going to get more than just five deals today that you can be aware of. So keep that in mind. So as I go here, I'm going to show my screen. Right. And I'm going to talk. Um, I don't have any affiliate links or anything for these just yet. I may throw them in the comments. I will be taking, so folks that are watching this over on my business page, right? I shot this over my personal profile first. Um, if you're over watching this on the business page, because I took it, re-uploaded it, and now you're seeing it, right? So I am going to put this over on the business page as well, and there'll likely be plenty of affiliate links there. So if there's any link that you see 
um, that I physically put in a comment or in the description, there's a possibility it is an affiliate link. So just just letting y'all know, right? Just letting y'all know. But again, if you like this stuff, if you're enjoying it, if you think it's good content, then please, all I ask is, only way that you can really pay me back you know, outside of going to automatewithease.com and deciding you're going to work with us, right? So go to automatewithease.com. Again, it is automatewithease.com. So outside of that, the best way that you can pay us is to share these episodes. It's to not be a stranger. And of course, just comment, right? Don't 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 be a stranger. So give us a comment. Give us a thank you. And lastly, check out this stuff and use the affiliate link. Like it just does help. Um, obviously the more <laughs> valuable, um, these episodes are for everybody, uh, the more there will uh, be these I'm uh, going in the future. Not that I plan on stopping this again anytime soon. Mention I said again, but anything, anyway, enough of all that stalling. Make sure, um, I got everybody here. Hey, 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 Mr. And Mrs. Morgan, appreciate y'all being here. Uh, Nisi Croft, appreciate you being here. Uh, Nisi, uh, you may, may need to open up that wallet again after today. <laughs> Again, I know she's like, hey, Justin, uh, whenever I watch one of your episodes, I end up buying something. Um, so be, be prepared. Y'all may want to make some purchases after tonight or today or whenever you're watching this. Um, but it's going to be worth it. So let's go ahead and get into the first thing. Uh, let's go here. And the first thing I'm going to show, let's close these things out. It's something I've talked about before. And that platform is called, let's see, boom. Uh, it keeps logging me in. Not trying to log in, all right? Because I'm actually logged into. This is one that I actually use. So I'm going to log out real quick. Uh, that way I can actually go to the home page and show y'all what it looks like. There we go. All right. So let me go ahead and let's slide on over to my handy dandy screen. All right, so HoneyBook. I've mentioned it before. I did a video on it. The sale is still up and active. Right now, you get six months for $6. Six months for $6, and after that, it's $40 a month. It is a steal. It is a steal. Like six bucks for six months. So a dollar a month for half the year. Like, it's amazing. So this is a project management, client management platform. Something that I've suggested now a couple of times. I've made the swap to, and I'm enjoying myself personally. Um, so check it out, right? So again, if y'all see a link for this, it definitely is a referral link. Also, if you see the link, it's a chance for you to save 20% on this going forward. At least that's what the link says. So check it out. Otherwise, you know, here's this deal. It's a dollar for six months. Check the thing out. It's amazing. I think it's something of, that you will get plenty of use out of. All right. So let me know if y'all have questions about HoneyBook. I'm going to go ahead and move this so make sure. <laughs> Nisi says, oh, heck no. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I I can't say that you're going to stay that that uh, convinced after I'm done. Um, if it is anything, again, if I was to say there was any episode where I, I'm going to get somebody to open their wallet up and not even necessarily to pay me but just open your wallet up in general this would be it okay this would be these are kind of like no-brainers so anytime i'm evaluating a deal it's and i say it's like a good deal it's because it's a no-brainer deal like it just makes sense it makes less sense to not do this so for instance this honey book deal one dollar for so even if you don't use it like but once you spent six dollars for six months of service, and and here's the kicker: they have a concierge service that will onboard your stuff for you. Again, this is under the six dollars. For six dollars, they will take your existing contracts, your existing template emails, your existing procedures, all that stuff, and they will. Put it in the system for you for six dollars. Six dollars. I like, I kid you not, six dollars to get the stuff done for you. You couldn't get me to take a nap for you for six dollars. They're going to do it for you for six dollars. 
right? Like, I'm just being real. Y'all come to me and it's like, hey, Justin, what, what, what can you do for me for $6? And I will, I, I will tell you, it's just not even worth the money. Like, it, we can just have a conversation for that, for five minutes, for all that, right? Like, or just see me live. But for $6, they will upload templates, contracts, like, all that stuff for you. And then you're all set to go. So, by all means, if you don't want to do that, I, I, I understand, but it's, it's kind of a, a no-brainer. Like, it, it, it makes less sense to not do it than it does to do it. Make sense? So, HoneyBook, $6 for six months. They got a concierge service. Like, I don't know what else to say. Just do it. Shia LaBeouf would just say, just do it. Okay? Again, y'all go check it out whether you use my affiliate link at some point or not. It's just a decision that you should make. So, that's the first one. Okay? Second one is called Snov or Snov. S N O V dot I O. Now, yesterday I did a, a quick little brief on reply dot I O, which is similar to this, but I found this one and it does something similar and the prices were better. The deal was stronger. I mean, in this day, you get 50% off of all their annual plans. Now, annual plans aren't necessarily cheap, but for what this thing does, so again, when we talk about lead generation, and we talk about automating lead generation. There's only a couple, there's only a few ways to really do it. One, you use automated content. Two, you hire somebody and have them do the outreach for you. Or three, you run ads. Or four, you find a tool that does the outreach for you. And this is one of those tools that does the outreach for you. So it allows you to scrub emails. It uh, works very well if you have a VA or something like that. They can go out and help you just kind of do these little steps, click buttons, and kind of push things along. And then kind of go back and check the quality. But, you know, this is one of those things that allows you to scrub emails, uh, make sure what emails are good or not. You can then go get in contact with people on LinkedIn and start conversations there and then get them and start shooting them and sending them campaigns of automated emails. Um, if you have a very specific niche, and you know what you want to offer, you know what you want to do, then this is very good for you. right? At the end of the day, if you know these things, these are very good for you. Right now, I don't have one of these in my business. Like, just being frank, I run ads um, in my business. This is something I'm strongly considering because I have the, like, again, I usually, I usually try to set aside a Black Friday budget because there's always bound to be something on Black Friday that not only do I need, or can strongly boost the bottom line or productivity in my business. And this is something that's on my list. Okay, I, I can't deny the fact that it has a 50% off annual plan. Like if you go look at the prices on this thing, um, we're talking, so if I did this 19 a month was 20, 20 times uh, 12 was 240. Um, so 120, right? Well, it may already be discounted here, so fifty percent off. So, I mean, two forty a year for this when it was usually, you know, double that. Like, that's not bad just to get started. And you get a thousand credits and five thousand recipients. Like, that's that's not bad, even at this medium level. Not bad, right? Uh, so go check it out. Like again, s n o v dot i o. I don't have an affiliate link up just yet. But at some point, I may. So, But go ahead and go there. That's fine. Again, S-N-O-V dot I-O. Go check them out. Do your research. Make sure it's good. Try them out. You know, I'm sure they give a money back guarantee and all that. So you know, go check them out and, and see what you think about it. So that is tool number two. Uh, again, as y'all have questions, what happens if you don't stay? What does that mean, Nisi? What happens if you don't stay? Uh, I'm not sure what that what you mean by what happens if you don't stay. Like what happens if you don't stay with HoneyBook? I mean, you just don't stay. I don't. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, yeah. So let me know what you mean by that. All right. The third deal, and it's not that you're gonna save a crap ton of money here, but this platform is so popular that. It would be like, I'm not a huge fan. Like, I, I've owned this platform. I've had to. 
I don't necessarily love their ecosystem, but I don't hate it either. I, I'm not. I wasn't a huge fan of their how they price things. I kind of lock you in and make you pay a penalty. Like I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I got it. Um, but it's not bad. There's some people that love this ecosystem, and I'm just not one of them. Okay, and so that ecosystem is Adobe. Right, so the Adobe has a ton of tools and things that are available to you for my creatives out there. Um, we need to make content and their illustrators, photographers, all that stuff, um, video editors. If you're creative, then you know Adobe's your thing. Now, before you would have been paying fifty three bucks a month. With Black Friday, you'll be paying only forty bucks a month. I know that seems like it's only what 13 bucks saved, but Adobe one, they will nickel and dime you at times. Then two, right? Two, you see how much all these separate things cost by themselves. This deal by itself to get all of the apps itself is a strong deal, but to get them all for under $40, when you usually would have been locked in at this price is what I would consider a steal. The fact that you get Adobe Acrobat, which like by itself, PDFs, and like we take for granted how how much we need to use PDFs on a day-to-day -day basis in business. Adobe Pro is actually pretty cool. Okay, Photoshop, by itself. Premiere Pro, by itself, worth it. Um, Illustrator, by itself, worth it, right? I don't really use InDesign. After Effects, by itself, work it. Spark, by itself, worth it. Um, animate, again, if this is what you do, like these things are audio recordings over at Audition, worth it, right? So again, I just, if this is your deal, right? You do creative, this deal is a steal. Like I think this is a very, very strong deal on a platform that you can, if you're in this space, you're going to get a lot of use out of. And I, I by far, like if you're going to be in this space and lock in at that price, you'll probably be on this platform for quite some time. And so that 13 bucks doesn't seem like much, but usually when you're in like this type of ecosystem, you're in the ecosystem. And so once you're, it's like you're an Apple user, right? Like once you in, you're kind of in. Unless you're one of those Android users like myself who kind of just ended up in and we just kind of waiting to get out, right? Uh, once you really in Adobe, you kind of in. Uh, you just kind of in. Even me, I'm trying to get out of Adobe and I still get, like, they just keep just, they, they just got me by the, 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 <laughs> my heel on my shoe. Like, they just won't let me go. Um, let's see here. Let's see, Nisi getting back to me. Here in the comments. And I got two more left. Um, you won't want to miss these two. And really it's kind of like two. You know, see what I mean in a second. Um, Nisi says, after the six months, the concierge service go back to what you had. So the concierge service is is an introductory thing. So the concierge service is just to set you up. Right? So the concierge service for HoneyBook. Again, this is for HoneyBook.com. It's to get you set up, right? So... It's to start you off. It's not It's not a six-month service. It's a simple, like, get you off the ground kind of service. Um, and I want you to look at it this way. How many times have you swapped platforms, but you have to do all the swapping yourself, right? Like, you have to move everything yourself, reset up everything yourself, like, readjust everything yourself. How often do you have to do that? This company for six dollars, meaning you can cancel and they'll be out. Like, but for six dollars, you can email them the contracts you have in your business, you can email them the standard questionnaires that you use in your business, you can email them the standard emails that you have in your business, and they will set those things up for you. For no additional cost. Ask yourself. Would you do that for $6 for someone else? And the answer is probably no. 
So they do that for free, pretty much, because you're using their platform for six months for six dollars. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. That's the only reason I'm looking at y'all like that. Like, it doesn't really get any better than that. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, there's, there's, I know I'm selling it hard because I know I'm having a feeling for this one. But, like, I can, I, I, there's only so much bad I can say in this scenario. It'd be like you telling me I'm selling pancakes and I got to sell pancakes hard. Pancakes are amazing. I don't have to sell them that hard, but I'm going to talk about them well because pancakes are amazing, right? But I, I don't have to sell you that hard. Like, it, it just is no, there's, is unless you're like, just, you just, you got a gluten allergy or you really just hate pancakes. Pancakes are amazing. It's like fact. They're just, they're not good for you, but they're amazing, right? Same deal. Like, in this case, it's just a good thing. And I can't say much else other than that. All right. Back to the other two deals. This fourth one that we got on deck is called Infinity. Now, this is kind of similar to Honey Book. The one thing they don't have is, at least not yet, they don't have um, contracts from what I can tell just yet. But they let you automate your back office. Right? So it's like back office automation is kind of what what i've i've started to determine i think i think i came i was talking to a guy um actually amazing conversation and i'll be featuring uh probably getting some more conversations with him in the future uh if y'all need to get y'all accounting straight check out albert um geez i have to remember this info you'll hear from him and you'll i'll promote his stuff later so make sure y'all keep it soon or again if y'all looking for somebody to help y'all with your accounting uh and you need somebody dependable Put something in the comments, and I'll make sure I'll ping him for you uh, so that way he can check your stuff out. Y'all can check him out. Um, but, yeah, automating your back office is what I was terming it. Again, it's another, it's another project kind of back-end team management system. It's a lifetime deal. Now, I've talked about lifetime deals before, but any time that you can get a lifetime deal on something that looks like it's going to be around for a while... It's a smart decision. Then you say, Justin, well, then why don't you do it? Because I don't, I don't, I don't need it. <laughs> I'm happy with HoneyBook. I'm happy with Trello. But if you are happy with what you have, check out Infinity. Like I, I haven't heard anything bad about Infinity. I haven't used it in my, I haven't used it myself. Okay, just full, full, uh, full disclosure. I haven't used it myself, but I've not heard anything bad about them. Um, here's the price breakdown. 149, 299, 499, 899, and 15 dollars essentially. Okay. Um, here's what it stacks up to: Trello, Asana, Monday, ClickUp. I don't know how it com. I don't know if it replaces Monday, but maybe it does. Um, ClickUp I've never used. Airtable I've heard of. Asana I've used, and Trello I've used. So, uh, but Monday again, I I've I know some folks and I've messed around with Monday a little bit in terms of looking into it. Um, I don't know if it fully replaces Monday, but I think I think it's probably pretty close if it does 100%. So this is your money comparison um, that you have right here. And it's 149. 10 people. Lifetime. Okay. So check it out. Will I? Maybe I'll consider. Eh, we'll see. If not, I mean, I, I'd probably end up switching to HoneyBook because HoneyBook has the contracts piece. Uh, contracts are a big thing in my space. Um, not the Tom, but like my area of my space, right? Uh, so again, it not having contracts is like it's not a no. I mean, it's, it's not a deal breaker for me. It's just it doesn't it, it doesn't it's not a necessary swap for me at this point. But I think if you are going to make this leap and you are going to consider tools like this anyway, then by all means. Check this thing out. I um, think it's worth it for you there. And there's other ways to bring in automated contracts. There's other ways to get around that. So think on that one. Also, don't know if they do invoicing. 
was kind of the other other thing um, that I, I wasn't really sure about whether they did invoicing or not. But I, I don't think that they do. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can I send invoices? Invoice. Nope. So collect. Yeah. So you, you can't really collect payments or anything on this. So that that's kind of where, again, HoneyBook, I can collect all my payments and do my contracts there. So I like that. Okay, but again, it's a lifetime deal. It's a platform that I've seen enough of and I've heard enough of that you can't go wrong with and you can start out at 150 bucks lifetime. That's that's like a no brainer there and you get 10 people. Right. Which is actually really cool. Okay, so if you have a team, boom, it's scalable there. All right. Okay. And my last one, my last one, my last one. Um, you're welcome, Jer welcome, Jerry. Jerry said, appreciate the shout out. Keep up the great work, Jerry. We appreciate you and all that you do, man. Appreciate you. Um, our last place, and it's really like one more plus, and that is AppSumo. I mentioned I was going to talk about AppSumo, and so here we are. We're going to talk about AppSumo and go over some AppSumo deals that you absolutely should consider checking out. First and foremost, this is not a Black Friday deal right here. So this air meat dot com, this air meat right here is not a Black Friday deal. This is a deal in general. Uh, I suggest you check this thing out. Um, this allows you again. This allows you to host interactive virtual events. It's seventy nine dollars lifetime. Seventy nine dollars lifetime. Um, anything comparable to this is going to get into your pocket and literally take all the cash out on a monthly basis. Why? Because everybody needs a virtual platform. It is not a Zoom. It's more than that. Okay. Um, now, go check them out first. You can, go, you can go try a free trial and all that first if you want. Make sure it's solid and stable. Because, um, again, I haven't tried it myself. But if it works and it's stable, for 79 bucks a lifetime, it is a steal. Just, just like, just let you know. Say so nine bucks lifetime is a steal. Okay, for Black Friday, I'm gonna try to highlight some things that you should consider in terms of what's actually useful or not. Um, these are their Black Friday deals. I'm gonna highlight the ones that are kind of no-brainers. One, deposit photos. I own deposit photo credits, uh, so I actively use this platform to get stock images, and I love it. Um, the price and the value you get at what they give you is great. Uh, sometimes there are these stock photo websites you go and it's kind of like, yeah, these these videos look like a 15-year-old took these shots and not like the one that took photography kind of 15-year-old. Like, it's just kind of bad. This platform has actually some high-quality stuff on there. Now, there's some generic kind of bliss stuff too, but... There's some really high quality stuff on there as well. And so I enjoy what you get on the particular platform on deposit photos at the price. So that's the first one. Okay. Um, outside of that, they have project management stuff here. So this is another nifty one. It's another, uh, you know, project management platform. Again, lifetime deal. Sweet Dash. This is a platform that that I don't know that I will make a swap to, but I think is worth people keeping their eye on because it really does try to do a lot. I don't know how well it does all of those things, but again, it's a lifetime deal. And so check it out. I think if it's a good platform, then it is well worth the $79. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mail poet. Eh, you can design emails. I, eh, WordPress. Eh, uh, I wouldn't. Um, online courses. Again, I would check it out. Fresh LMS. See how it works for you. See if it's any good. The water is everything, y'all. And the ice. 
Okay. So check that out. Um, pu- uh, Publer. I I think that's how it's supposed to be said. Uh, eh. It's forty nine bucks. White time. Meh. Uh, outside of that, okay. Let's see. Oveyond. That one didn't really stand out to me. Video reel. Collecting testimonials. I mean, it's useful. Is it worth a $69 lifetime? Possibly. If you really need it, then go for it. It's, it's not bad. Viral loops. Sorry, y'all. Vi- viral loops. This one is one where I would consider it. I own it because I have the lifetime deal from this one. Did I love the platform? No. There's some things that if they improve the platform will be very good. So it's kind of like a wait buy, wait and see kind of deal. But it's core functionality you can get used from. You can still run contests and, and promotional promotional campaigns and things like that from in there. Um, so I definitely think it's worth checking. Okay. If so. For you website builders, so again, if Jerry and Greg are watching, um, especially Greg, because I know Greg's very much into websites and what they do in his business, uh, so he would understand this piece, is there are tools that allow you to have more dynamic content popping up on your website based off of who you are, um, like what your segment is, where you're from, and so this is one of those things. And so it helps create a unique experience. So for my high level web design folks and my people that want to build platforms, so the difference between a platform and a website, I believe this is very useful. Okay. And then here, um, Q, Q, I'm not sure. I think maybe Q, but I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Um, I think this is a good deal as well. Again, if you're trying to use some curated uh content for social things like that this will be useful check it out i mean their their review isn't great so make sure you try it first and see if it works out for you okay but there's plenty of deals here you can check out some of these other ones if you would like to but the ones that i just pointed out are the ones that i would i would pay the most attention to okay um yeah and again absolutely has plenty of other deals that are by themselves outside of this plenty worth it um, that you can check out. Swipe Pages, I haven't done a review on them yet, but uh, that's another page builder that you can use out there to build out funnels and things like that. So again, those are the five deals. Go check them out. Um, If you have questions for me, please let me know. Um, If you want to check them out and it's like, Justin, I need your affiliate link. Tag me, tag me, add me, something, friend me, let me know. And I'll see you in the link if I have one. Uh, I don't have affiliate links for everything. So, you know, just, but again, these are things that I've suggested because, not just because I have an affiliate link, because legitimately I think they will be of use to you. Again, these over on AppSumo, like I don't, you know, there's no big payoff for these anyway. Like I, I really won't make much of anything. At the end of the day. But if you want the AppSumo stuff, um, if you want an additional $10, $10 to use towards your uh, purchase, then yeah, I got an affiliate link for that as well. So look, do me a favor, share this. I know there's somebody in your space that needs this stuff. Um, share this with a friend, share this with a family member, and share this with an enemy because hey, Sometimes, even in this holiday season, we got to be nice to the enemies, too. No matter what they look like, how they serve. Um, let's see. Uh, Mr. Morgan says, I presently use PayPal business app for invoicing my last clients. I'm looking for an app that has a good invoicing platform but does not charge a fee for each payment received. Um, yeah, every platform pretty much charges a fee. There's no real... Uh, I mean, outside of getting paid cash, unfortunately, there is always going to be a fee. 
And what usually happens is even if you get another platform, it'll still connect back to something like PayPal or Stripe that will still charge you a fee, right? So, um, unfortunately, I mean, banking, anytime there's a POS, a you know, point of service system, um, there has to be a fee because they have to make money. That's how they make their money. And so there's ultimately somebody's getting paid. Um, so there's always going to be some fee they take from you. I mean, it's unfortunate, but it just is the way that it is outside of doing um, cash app and using the um, I think you use the cash app card or if you don't do the uh, accelerated deposit then I believe you can avoid fees there but cash app isn't really an efficient way to run your business um, that's just my opinion. I know folks still run off the cash app all the time and that's fine. Do what is best for you. I pay people via cash app all the time. Um, I've taken a couple payments via cash app, but you know, I, I don't like using it as my main way to collect funds just cause it's harder for me to track it and integrate it with a, you know, pull easy, pull it into a accounting or when it's time to do taxes. Um, it's just a kind of a pain. In my opinion. So, yeah, I tend to avoid Cash App. Um, but, you know, again, what whatever works best for you. But ultimately, there's really no way around the fees. I mean, they're, they're just there. It's a part of life. Uh, you can find a place that has the cheaper fees. Now, that may be worth doing some investigating, um, depending on what you're looking at. But, again, even there, a lot of the platforms charge you just about the same so yeah but i i i am subject to fees too they're not fun they hurt uh especially when you're in a high ticket business like myself um the fees look even worse so it's one thing when they take like three dollars from you you know out of something it's another thing when they take you know 30 or like 100 bucks out of your out of your fee um that's that's it hurts your soul just a little bit just a little bit but you know they, they gotta make their money so i'm not i'm not mad at them okay so hopefully that helps out hopefully um if not then maybe i'll do an episode on the most affordable payment processors um that are out there maybe folks can find some use for that or with that okay all right so with that all being said Anybody else has any questions, make sure you tag me, hashtag replay, all that jazz um, in the comments. That way I don't miss your question. All right. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all on the next one. Um, you know, make sure y'all tune in all this week. But of course, I'll be here live every Tuesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you go over to automatewithease.com. And I'm Justin. I help coaches, speakers, and trainers create automated systems that save time and generate more revenue. I'll see you in the next one. And as usual, treat each day as a building block to a better future. Peace.